Hello mga kawamat! Sa video lesson na to, we will discuss about solving word problems involving permutations and combination. So in this video lesson, we will, dis uh, we will determine if a situation involves permutation and combinations. And then also, we're going to identify the key words being used in word problems and differentiate permutation and combination and solve word problems involving permutations and combinations. So first, so recall muna natin yung mga formula no, na involved sa permutation and combinations. So ano ba yung mga formula na ginagamit natin? So first, so balikan natin yung permutation. So again, permutation is the arrangement of objects in which order is important. So under dyan, meron tayong tinatawag na permutation of n objects taken r at a time. And then, meron tayong apat na formula na, passive, uh, na pwedeng gamitin. So, depende sa case no, ng problem. So, kapag uh, wala namang uh, restriction, so we're using this formula. So, n factorial over n minus r factorial kapag... Uh, walang restriction. And then, kapag yung R natin equals 0, so, ang permutation natin ay equal sa 1. Again, kapag yung R natin equals 0, so, yung permutation natin ay equal sa 1. And then, kapag ang N natin, saka yung R, again, kapag yung N natin equal sa R, so, ibig sabihin kung 5 yung n, 5 din yung r, ang permutation natin is equal to n factorial. So, again, kapag equal yung n sa ka r, ibig sabihin ang gagamitin lang natin para makuha yung permutation natin that is n factorial. And then, kapag yung r natin equal sa 1, again, kapag yung r natin equal sa 1, okay, yung permutation natin is equal to n. So, kung ano yung value ng n. So, that is for permutation of n object taken r at a time. So, ito yung mga possible na formulas na pwede natin gamitin. Aside from that, meron tayong circular permutation. So, may dalawa rin tayong ginagamit sa circular permutation. First, okay, okay kapag circular arrangement and then uh, ang pagkuha ng permutation natin kapag circular, uh, yung arrangement natin, so merong gagamitin formula doon and that is n minus 1 factorial. So, kapag circular yung arrangement, ibig sabihin, uh, paikot, okay? So, di, ang gagamitin nating formula para makuha yung permutation is n minus 1 factorial. Yung isa, kapag yung mga problem uh, related, like for example, yung key ring, yung mga key ring, no? yung mga ganon, so, ito yung gagamitin natin formula. So, n minus 1 factorial divide 2. Okay, so, bihira naman to gamitin. No? Bihira naman. So, may mga case lang na pwede nyo ma-encounter. So, madalas circular uh, arrangement lagi. Okay, next is distinguishable permutation or uh, permutation with repeated objects. No? Distinguishable permutation or tinatawag rin natin na permutation with repeated objects. So, uh, ang formula na gagamitin natin dyan, that is n factorial, divide n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial up to n sub k factorial. So, kung ilang objects no, meron. So, kung 10, okay. So, hanggang 10 ang ilagay natin dito. So, ito ay under ng permutations. And then, combination, that is, the arrange, uh, an arrangement of n objects with no repetitions. And the order is not important. So, ano yung formula na ginagamit natin dito sa combinations? So, n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So, I hope uh, na-recall nyo yung mga formula no, related sa permutation and combinations. Kasi ito yung gagamitin natin mamaya sa mga uh, word problems na sasagutan natin. 
Okay, for problem number one. So, Alex would like to invite nine friends to go on a trip but has room for six of them. So, in how many ways can they be chosen? Okay, next. Uh, ulitin pala natin yung problem. So, Alex would like to invite nine friends to go on a trip but has room for six of them. So, anim lang yung room pero nine sila. So, in how many ways can they be chosen? So, dito sa problem natin, importante no, ang pagkuha natin ng keyword or yung clue na sinasabi, uh, parang clue para malid tayo kung ano yung gagamitin nating formula. So, sa previous video lesson natin, although ang daming example doon, pwede nyo balikan kung paano natin na differentiate si permutation and combination. Dito sa problem number 1, ano yung keyword or yung clue natin? Okay, yung word na, okay, choose and, or kasi may selection na involved. So, since Alex needs to choose and order is not important, so therefore, the type of, uh, this type of problem is an example of combination. Okay? Kasi nga, Order is not important naman. So, therefore, this type of problem is an example of combinations. So, ano yung mga given natin dyan? So, yung N natin is 9 at yung R natin is 6. So, ano yung formula na gagamitin natin? So, N factorial divide N minus R factorial times R factorial. And then, okay, using the formula, is to solve na natin. Okay. So, how many ways can it be Chosen. So, next. So, applying the formula. So, substitute lang natin yung value ng n sa ka r. So, that is 9 factorial. Divide 9 minus 6 factorial times 6 factorial. Simplify. So, 9 factorial. Divide 3 factorial times 6 factorial. So, ito, 9 factorial is equal to 362,880. Divide 4,320. Kasi yung 4,320 from... 3 factorial times 6 factorial. So, the answer is 84 ways. Okay? Another. Problem number 2. In a round table, how many ways can 8 different colored chairs be arranged? Again, in a round table, how many ways can 8 different colored chairs be arranged? So, ano yung pinaka-keyword natin dito para mag sa atin kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin. So, ang keyword natin is yung word na round table. Okay? So, arrangement is circular. So, therefore, order is important. So, anong klaseng permutation to? Since order is important. So, the type of problem is an example of circular permutation. Okay? Circular permutation. So, anong given natin? n is equal to 8. And the formula, ano gagamitin natin kapag circular permutation? n minus 1 factorial. So, so, let's solve. Using the formula, substitute lang natin yung value ng n natin. And that is 8 minus 1 factorial is equal to 7 factorial. And 7 factorial is equal to 5,040 ways. Okay, that is for a problem number two. Another, problem number three. Find the numbers of different ways of placing eight marbles in a row given that three are red, two are green, two yellow, and one is black. Again, find the numbers of different ways of placing eight marbles in a row given that three are red, two are green, two yellow, and one is black. So, makikita natin, meron ditong repeated objects. Okay? So, ano yung keyword natin? Different ways of placing. So, of repeated elements. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, in placing, order of colors is important. Saka, in a row kasi, nakalagay dito, 8 marbles in a row. So, merong arrangement. So, therefore, this type of... Uh, a problem is an example of permutation with repeated elements or yung tinatawag nating distinguishable permutation. Okay, so again, 
Itong problem number 3 is an example of permutation with repeated elements. So, what are the given? N is 8, so yan yung total number of marbles. And then yung N sub 1 natin, yung red, that is 3. Yung N sub 2, yung green, that is 2. Yung N sub 3 naman natin is yellow, where is yellow is equal to 2. And yung N sub 4 natin is 1, and that is black. Okay? So, ano yung formula na ginagamit for permutation with repeated elements? So, ganyan, no? N factorial over N sub 1 factorial to N sub K factorial. So, mumultiply lang natin. So, substituting in the formula. So, 8 factorial divide. So, yung N sub 1 natin, that's 3 factorial times yung N sub 2, 2 factorial times yung n sub 3 natin, 2 factorial, times 1 factorial. Then, uh, evaluate natin yung 8 factorial, that is 40,320, and then, the product of 3 uh, factorial, 2 factorial, and 2 factorial, or 3 factorial times 2 factorial, times 2 factorial times 1 factorial, is 24. So, divide 40,320, by 24, the answer is 1,680 ways. Okay, next. Problem number 4. How many ways can 4 officers in grade 10 Quisnake class be elected among 45 students? Again, how many ways can 4 officers in grade 10 Quisnake class be elected among 4 uh, 45 students. So, first, ano yung keyword natin dito? So, yung keyword natin is officers. So, ibig sabihin merong arrangement kapag officers. Meron, right? So, therefore, this means that the order is important. So, this type of problem is an example of permutations of N of elements taken R at a time. So, again, so, yung type of problem na is permutation. Since the order is important, and this is the permutation of n elements taken r at a time. So, ano yung given natin? So, yung n natin is 45, yung r natin is 4. And then, ano yung formula na gagamitin natin dito? What is the formula? So, ano yung formula na gagamitin? So, that is n factorial divide n minus r factorial. So, apply the formula by substituting the given value. So, 45 factorial divide 45 minus 4 factorial. Then, simplify 45 factorial, that is 45 times 44 times 43 times 42 times 41 factorial. Since 45 minus 4, that is 41 factorial. So, mga cancel natin yung 41 factorial. So, ang matitira na lang, that is 45 times 44 times 43 times 42. The answer is 3,575,880 ways. Okay, so another, problem number 5. From the grade 10 love, 8 boys and 4 girls decided to visit their favorite peryahan to, ex to experience its number 1 attraction. The merry-go-round with 12 horses. So, how many ways can student be seated if no restriction are imposed? Pangalawa, all the boys must sit together and all the girls must sit together as well. Again, from the grade 10 love, 8 boys and 4 girls decided to visit their favorite peryahan to experience its number 1 attraction, the merry-go-round with 12 horses. So, how many ways can student be seated if A, no restriction are imposed? B, all the boys must sit together and all the girls must sit together as well. So, unang-una, ano yung keyword natin? The merry-go-round. So, therefore, circular arrangement. Tama? So, this type of problem is a circular permutation. So, paano natin sagutan yung letter A? So, if no restriction are imposed, so ibig sabihin, walang restriction. So, using the formula for circular permutation, so ang given natin is 8, uh, no, 8 boys plus 4 girls, that is 12, yung n. Using the formula for circular permutation, that is n minus 1 factorial. Okay, so n is 12, so 12 minus 1, 
That is 11 factorial. And 11 factorial is 39 million. 916,880 ways. Okay. That if no restriction are imposed. Paano kapag all the boys must sit together and all the girls must sit together as well? So, ibig sabihin class, uh, maging dalawa na lang, no? Kasi uh, magkasama na yung boys at magkasama rin yung girls. So, boys must sit together and that is, ilan ba yung boys natin? Eight. So, Kunin natin yung 8 factorial. And then, yung girls then sit together. At ilan yung girls natin? 4. So, therefore, 4 factorial. So, kunin natin yung arrangement nung dalawa. Okay? So, it, dalawa na lang yung magiging ano natin. So, ibig sabihin, so, treat the 8 boys as 1 group as well as the 4 girls as 1 group. So, meron lang dalawa, no? Okay, so therefore, using the fundamental principle of counting, fundamental principle of counting, so 8 factorial times 4 factorial, so multiply lang natin, the answer will be 967,880 ways. Again, so 967,880 ways if all the boys must sit together and all the girls must sit together as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.